Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome back. Um, first off, I want to thank my friend. He doesn't want to be, his name be mentioned, but he is a subscriber to the channel. Basically, he's the one that helped me get my PC back. So it's not more my PC anymore. Like I sold that one. This is just one that he gave me money for, and I basically built it. Which, that's a whole big thing that happened. <laughs> but anyways, I have a working PC now, um, and I'm forever grateful. So anyways, today we're going to be talking about the Astilla Prime. So, it's a shotgun, it's a rifle, it's everything. It's really good. has a pretty decent blast radius for its uh, radial. Um, you can... You can make it shoot really fast if you want. Um, just be mindful of the damage output. Now, good thing about the Astilla Prime is that it has decent slash just from the get-go. You can put Hunter's Munitions just to make the slash procs happen a lot more. Um, from what I've found out by using this thing, it procs slash enough. But this is the damage total at the bottom. So with the radial... And then without radial, but it's always going to be a radial attack. So Toxic Barrage, Chilling Reload, Prime Point Blank, Ravage, Galvanize Hell, Critical Deceleration. Now this is my Riven. Um, I didn't care for Rivens for this thing because when this thing came out, you know, it felt like every Prime that came out was going to be, um, what was it, like one Dispo? I guess they gave this thing a break and they gave it a three. So when I found out it got to a three and I earned one from just a popping a ribbon, I was like, bet, I'm keeping it. So yeah, now it's a dispo of three. So yes, I'm keeping it. And I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like this one because I get multi shot, projectile speed, and fire rate. Because it is shooting slug rounds, so they are slow. So the projectile speed actually makes it go a lot faster. I get more fire rate, and then of course more multi-shot, more damage. And then of course blaze. And then vigilant supplies. And primary merciless. I don't know why they changed the colors of... I guess they just were... I don't know. There's been some changes that I've noticed since I got back. And I know there's some new weapons I have to get from the chrysalis, but that's going to wait. But anyways, I'm just going to leave these guys active. And look, since I'm legendary rank now, now they're at what even five? Come on, from range. Mind you, this is a shotgun. And you see the radial effects like a group of enemies. There you go. Thing is so strong. Like, uh, the regular Estilo was pretty good, but the Prime is just a whole different beast. It is also a revolver shotgun. Oh, well, it's a revolver crystal slug shotgun. The glass jar, whatever you want to call it. But see that projectile speed from the ribbon? Beautiful. It's already there at the end. How about... I've got some XMSs, so let's see how it fares with like the new XMSs, which are still um, up in the air. Some people like them, some people hate them, so... It's a mixed bag, for sure. level 185s XMSs, so this thing is a, a freaking beast. All right, before we get off, let's uh, try some some knocks. I don't have like a XMS knocks, so I have to scan one, I guess, which I, I felt like I've done before, but. 
this game will be a game, so. <laughs> okay, here we go, there you go. They're just charging in already. so beautiful about this little prime is that it combines a lot of good things that like uh, make weapons do like tough damage like the impact staggers right which if this thing does have impact right off the bat so the impact is like basically staggering and then the slash from the radial is adding the slash and of course I have heat and viral so pretty damn good combo and of course on the radio also has puncture that fucks up armor so reduces the target's damage output up to 75 percent pretty great so and the thing is you still a prime uh what is it like those little relics they're still out and about because i think like uh Garuda Prime is one that's not going to get vaulted, just like um, a couple other ones. So it's, you're going to get, I have like a hundred almost just for the barrel alone. So the relics are not that hard to get. And if you want, you can probably go on Warfare Market and get the set cheap. But yeah, the Astilla Prime is a jackhammer. It's probably one of my favorite shotguns in the game. Love the sound, love the look, love the performance. So anyways... Thank you guys, and I am back. So, hope you guys enjoy that. Anyways, you guys take care. Have a great day.